With the constant evolution of technology, transportation has been one of the most revolutionary industries in the world. From the advent of the automobile to the rise of electric cars, transportation has come a long way over the past century. However, China's latest innovation in transportation may be the most groundbreaking yet – the flying car. Recently, China announced the launch of its first flying car, marking a new era in transportation innovation. The vehicle, called the Ehang 216, is a fully electric autonomous aerial vehicle AAV, capable of carrying two passengers. It is designed to operate between designated airports in urban areas and offers a new level of mobility and convenience for travelers. The Ehang 216 is equipped with 16 electric motors and can fly at speeds of up to 130 km per hour. It has a range of up to 35 km and can reach altitudes of up to 500 meters. The vehicle is fully autonomous, meaning it does not require a pilot and can be operated via a mobile app. The Ehang 216 is also designed with safety in mind, with multiple backup systems and a parachute that can be deployed in case of an emergency. The launch of the Ehang 216 represents a significant step forward in the development of flying cars and could revolutionize the way we think about transportation. The vehicle offers a new level of mobility and convenience, allowing travelers to bypass congested roads and travel directly to their destination. It could also reduce travel time and costs, making transportation more accessible for people in urban areas. In addition to the potential benefits for travelers, the Ehang 216 could also have a positive impact on the environment. The vehicle is fully electric, meaning it produces no emission and has the potential to reduce the carbon footprint of transportation. Furthermore, the Ehang 216 is designed to operate in urban areas, which could reduce the need for traditional cars and ease traffic congestion in cities. However, the launch of the Ehang 216 also raises concerns about the safety and regulation of flying cars. While the vehicle is equipped with safety features, the potential for accidents and collisions in the air is a concern. Additionally, there are currently no regulations in place for the operation of flying cars meaning that the integration of these vehicles into the transportation system could be complicated. Despite these concerns, the launch of the Ehang 216 marks an exciting new era in transportation innovation. The vehicle offers a new level of mobility and convenience for travelers, and has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about transportation. With continued advancements in technology, the future of transportation is looking more innovative than ever. The development of the Ehang 216 is not the only flying car project in the world. Companies such as Airbus, Uber and Google are also working on their own flying car projects. While these projects are still in the early development stage, they demonstrate the potential for flying cars to become a reality in the near future. The potential benefits of flying cars are numerous. They could provide a new level of mobility and convenience for travelers, reduce travel time and costs, and have a positive impact on the environment. Flying cars could also have significant implications for urban planning and development, as cities may need to adapt their infrastructure to accommodate these vehicles. However, the integration of flying cars into the transportation system also raises a number of challenges and concerns. Safety is a major concern, as the potential for accidents and collisions in the air is a serious issue. Additionally, the regulation of flying cars is currently unclear, meaning that the integration of these vehicles into the transportation system could be complicated. Furthermore, the cost of flying cars is currently prohibitive, meaning that they may not be accessible to all individuals. The Ehang 216, for example, is currently priced at around $300,000, making it out of reach for most consumers. This could limit the impact that flying cars have on transportation, at least in the short term. Another potential issue with flying cars is their noise levels. The Ehang 216, for example, produces a noise level of around 60 decibels, which is roughly equivalent to the noise level of an average conversation. While this may not seem like a significant issue, the constant noise of flying cars could become a nuisance for individuals living near designated flight paths. Despite these concerns, the potential benefits of flying cars are too significant to ignore. The technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about transportation, offering a new level of mobility and convenience for travelers. The technology could also have significant implications for urban planning and development as cities may need to adapt their infrastructure to accommodate these vehicles. In order to ensure the safe and effective integration of flying cars into the transportation system, there will need to be a significant investment in infrastructure and regulation. The development of designated airports for flying cars, for example, will be crucial in ensuring the safety and efficiency of these vehicles. 
Additionally, there will need to be clear regulations in place for the operation of flying cars, including rules around flight paths, safety standards, and licensing. The future of transportation is looking more innovative than ever before, and the development of flying cars represents a significant step forward in this evolution. While there are still many challenges and concerns to address, the potential benefits of this technology are too significant to ignore. With continued advancements in technology and infrastructure, flying cars could become a reality in the near future, revolutionizing the way we travel and think about transportation. As with any new technology, there will likely be a period of adjustments and adaption as society adapts to the introduction of flying cars. However, the potential benefits of increased mobility, reduced travel times, and reduced congestion make this a technology worth exploring further. In addition to China's eHang, several other companies are also working on developing flying cars. Terrafugia, a subsidiary of Geely, the parent company of Volvo, is working on the development of the Transition, a hybrid electric flying car that can take off and land vertically. The Transition is expected to be available for purchase in 2022, with a price tag of around $400,000. German company Lilium is also working on the development of a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL electric jet, which it plans to use for air taxi services. The company recently secured a $35 million investment from Tencent and has partnerships with several major airlines, including Lufthansa and JetBlue. While there is still much work to be done in terms of developing the technology and infrastructure needed for flying cars, it is clear that this is a field with significant potential for growth and innovation. As the world's population continues to grow and cities become more crowded, finding new and innovative solutions to transportation will be crucial. Flying cars represent one possible solution and could help to make travel faster, more convenient and more efficient. In conclusion, China's new flying car represents a significant step forward in the development of this exciting new technology. While there are still many challenges and concerns to address the potential benefits of increased mobility, reduced travel times, and reduced congestion, make this a technology worth exploring further. With continued advancements in technology and infrastructure, flying cars could become a reality in the near future revolutionizing the way we travel and think about transportation. One of the main advantages of a flying car is that it could help to alleviate traffic congestion on the ground. By taking to the skies, these vehicles could bypass traditional roadways and avoid the traffic jams that are all too common in urban areas. This could lead to significant time savings for commuters and could help to reduce the environmental impact of transportation by reducing congestion and emissions. However, there are also some significant challenges that need to be overcome before flying cars become a viable mode of transportation. One of the biggest hurdles is the need for adequate infrastructure to support these vehicles. Unlike traditional cars which can be driven on existing roads, flying cars require landing pads or other infrastructure to take off and land safely. This means that significant investments in new infrastructure would be needed before flying cars could become a widespread mode of transportation. Another challenge is the need for new regulations and safety protocols to govern the use of flying cars. These vehicles would need to be equipped with advanced safety features and would require highly trained operators to ensure safe and reliable operation. There would also need to be strict regulations in place to prevent collisions with other flying cars or with traditional aircraft. Despite these challenges, there are many companies around the world that are working to develop flying cars, including several in China. These companies are investing heavily in research and development to overcome the technical and regulatory hurdles that stand in the way of widespread adoption of these vehicles. In addition to the potential benefits for transportation, flying cars could also have significant implications for other industries, such as emergency response and search and rescue. With the ability to fly over terrain that would be difficult or impossible to navigate by traditional vehicles, flying cars could provide a valuable tool for first responders and other emergency personnel. So we can say that while there are significant challenges that need to be addressed before flying cars become a reality, the potential benefits of this technology are too significant to ignore. With continued investment and innovation, we could soon see a world where flying cars are a common sight in the skies, revolutionizing the way we think about transportation and opening up new possibilities for industries and individuals alike.